To separate the atoms that make up water, scientists need energy to break the bonds that hold the atoms together. To do this, they run an electric current through the water. Bubbles form in the tubes where the current makes contact with the water. These bubbles rise to the top of the tubes and fill them with clear gas. As the bubbles rise, they are captured to see what they are made of. One tube is filled up with twice as much gas as the other tube. Once the gas is collected, scientists test the bubble's properties to determine what elements are present in the gases. One gas is determined to have a low density and will glow brightly in the presence of fire. Scientists can identify this gas as oxygen based on these properties. The other gas produced has twice as much volume as the first. This clear gas is determined to have an even lower density and reacts explosively when brought near a flame. These properties identify the gas as hydrogen. It is noted that no matter how many times the experiment is done, the results are always the same, and there is always twice as much hydrogen as there is oxygen.